Dios. Starting to look a little bit like a jungle in here. And it's been about a week since our last update. And we've had a couple of days of warm weather and the plants have really enjoyed that extra sunshine and have really started flowering. But you'll also notice the weather is starting to change, as you can tell with the change in these leaves in a tree in our backyard. So fall is starting to arrive and the light uh, we have in Whitehorse around the summer solstice we have about 22 hours of daylight and we're now just over a month after the solstice and we notice the change in the evening light and especially the morning light plus the change in the weather which is more rainy um, and cooler temperatures and you can see a bit more misty in the greenhouse i'd like to show you some updates of our plants that I didn't show you last week. Namely the tomatoes, the peppers, and the cucumbers, and the corn. We've had some developments there as well. So with the corn, we can tell it's gotten to be about uh, seven or eight feet tall and has gone um, to seed and I have been as I demonstrated in other videos pollinating in the greenhouse here by shaking the stalks and we're starting to get some ears flowing. you can see the silk there and here we have a, one batch of corn that's a little bit later we started it about a week or so later than the others, and so it's just starting to get to the point where we'll be pollinating. Here you'll see our cucumbers, and that one is about ready to pick. Uh, that's one we featured on Twitter. And our onion sets are really starting to mature. Next, our tomatoes. This is our 42 day tomatoes, and they are starting to ripen. And here we have our plum tigress tomato. It's a heritage variety, and it doesn't actually produce a lot of fruit. It's a very dense bush. It's sometimes difficult to water. I'm sure it gets enough water, but it's one of my favorites just because of the striped tomatoes that it, it bears. It looks like we're getting some really nice fruit. And these are the mystery tomatoes, the Borgesi tomatoes. And they're not terribly happy, um, so I'm not sure that I would grow these again, but they are starting to get some fruit. And we will report back to you on what they're like. As you can see, the winter squash have really filled out and with that last burst of heat have really climbed up these cages that we've trained them to grow up and actually they've exceeded it. They have nowhere else to go. Um, so I'll have to think up uh, something for that. But we are starting to get some nice fruit showing. This is a Thelma Sanders and it is like an acorn squash. Although it, it doesn't produce green fruit, it produces pale fruit. We're getting some female flowers on our Georgia Candy Roaster. And this is a Mandan Banquet, another heritage variety. And again, just wanted to try some different ones to see how well they do in our climate. 
But these Georgia candy roasters are starting to produce. And I'm just waiting on the butternuts to send out some flowers, butternut squash. And now, these are our early peppers. And we do have some flowers. So this is the furthest we've ever gotten with peppers. So that will be exciting to see how far they get before fall truly sets in and we will report back to you on that. And thank you for taking a walk with me in my greenhouse. <laughs>